Hey guys, welcome to day two of the next 10 days of your life. Yesterday we spoke about decision making and the importance of making important decisions. Where most people don't make important decisions, you are now going to start making important decisions. And there aren't many decisions to make, but the ones you do make are going to have a massive impact on your life for the better. Now, once you've made the decision to start, once you've made the decision to, yes, I want to become a better person, once you've made the decision to do what you love to do and become who you love to become, then you can start making some progress. And the next step, which is today, is going to be about creating a vision. You got you to you gotta have a mental image of something in your mind before you can see it in the physical reality. So every, everything you see around you, this blue shirt, for example, was once a vision in someone's mind. Someone wants a vision that they want to make t-shirts and then they want to make a blue t-shirt. So they made this blue t-shirt. This MacBook, perfect example of, of someone, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, they had this vision for a personal computer. It didn't even exist before. There was no such thing. There's no such thing as personal computers. And they had this vision for it and they kept at it and they kept at it and they kept at it and then they, they created their vision and behold, here I am using a MacBook. Airplane, another example. Airplanes didn't exist, you know, a hundred years ago. No one was flying airplanes. It took vision. It took vision. So, your vision doesn't need to be as grand as an airplane or a MacBook, but it's going to have an even more profound on your life than airplanes and MacBooks because your vision is ultimately going to decide how you live your life, how you I- interact with other people, how you engage in in your day-to-day experiences. So the only reason I'm in Thailand right now is because I had a vision of living in the tropics. I had a vision of living somewhere where it's sunny 365 days a year. The only reason I have a MacBook is because I envisioned just a simple use of a computer. The only reason I I eat a fruitarian diet, look at this, beautiful papaya. The only reason I eat a fruitarian diet is because I envisioned myself as a fruitarian. I envision myself eating the cleanest, purest diet possible, known to man. And so now it's a reality. So it starts with a vision and it becomes a reality. Now, most people, they don't have a vision. And if they do have a vision, it's a pretty crummy vision. It's a pretty crummy vision. But that's not for you. For you, you want a crystal clear image of what you want. And good ways about going about creating vision is just to start, start flipping through Google Images. Just... Start flipping through Tumblr, Pinterest, even Instagram, and just like things that you really like and save them and collect them, collect them, collect them, and then make a mind movie of them. Or even just make a collage of them on your on your desktop. Because then at least you're seeing the images of what you want. And we have something in our brains called the reticular cortex. And in essence, it's the part of the brain that allows you to quickly spot things. So, for example, if I close my eyes and someone says, Ted, look around you for everything that's yellow. I'll open my eyes and I'll say, oh, the papaya skin is yellow. Didn't even notice that before. I just saw the orange. The papaya skin is yellow. Um, that orange peel is not yellow. It's orange. Um, I got these mangoes beside me. They're yellow. Bananas are yellow. Um, the sun right outside, that's yellow for sure. Uh, the Yellow on my shoes right there. Yellow on the water bottle. Yellow sign on the door. Yellow t-shirt over there. I didn't even notice these things before. But I had the vision. Someone said yellow. I said, okay, yellow, look for yellow. And the brain all of a sudden starts going ding, 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 starts finding things that are yellow. So that doesn't happen. It's not activated if you don't have the vision. So you've got to activate the vision simply by thinking of what you want, imagining it. Now, granted, some people admittedly don't see images when they close their eyes and imagine their front door, for example. They don't actually see a front door. When you, when you ask someone to imagine the car that they drove, what kind of car do they drive? For me, it used to be Honda Element. I can clearly picture a Honda Element. I can picture me opening the door, getting inside, sitting down at the steering wheel. I have the mental image of that in my, in my head. But some people, they say they don't see images. So for them, if, if, if that's for you, then just imagine what it feels like to sit down in a car. Imagine what it feels like to open your front door. But for the most of us, I'd say 90%, 90% of people can, can, um, can visualize images. So what you want to do is you want to create an image. You want to create a vision of your ideal life in every area. 
Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll pick five topics right now and you create a vision for each of them. First one is going to be your mind, your, your, your brain up top, your, your emotions, your moods, your thoughts. What sort of thoughts, what sort of emotions do you want to feel? The second one would be your body. What, what kind of body do you want to live in? Do you want to be big, strong, muscular? You know, someone who goes to the gym a lot and very, very strong? Or do you want to be someone who's really, really lean, really, really athletic, endurance type? Or do you want to be someone who's very flexible? You have a very flexible body. Um, or maybe you want to be a sumo wrestler. Maybe you want to be really, really big. Maybe you want to be super stick thin. Who knows? Find the image of someone you want to be like on Google or YouTube or something and just hold that image in your head over and over again. For me as a triathlete, I have certain athletes I look up to. I, I look up to them and when I'm running, I imagine I'm in their body or they're in my body. So I'm running with their body. It's pretty powerful stuff. Um, so your mind, your body. The next area of your life would be your... Your, your nutrition, what does your nutrition look like? So for me, an example, I said, yeah, I want to eat a, the cleanest, purest fruitarian diet possible. There's uh, my fruit down there. And so as a result, I, I know exactly what it looks like. Just fruit, very simple. I have the image, I go to the store, I go boom, 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 pick out the fruit. So those are three so far. The Another one would be your finances. What do you want? What do you want your finances to look like? Now, finances. It's hard to actually get an image of the finances, but you can imagine having wads of cash around. You can imagine always having opening, taking out your wallet and having just a bunch of cash in there, or you can imagine opening up your Google account, your Google AdSense, if Google pays you for YouTube videos, and you see the income right there, or your electronic bank account, or your bank receipt. You open a bank receipt that says three hundred thousand dollars, whatever it is. What do you want that to look like? What do you want that to feel like? What does it feel like to have a lot of cash? Create that vision. Have a vision of your financial abundance. Rather than the vision of debt. Most people, their goal is to get out of debt. And if your goal is to get out of debt, you're going to be in debt until the day you die because you're envisioning debt. So get that out and replace it with abundance. Um, what's that? Four, four things? The, the, the fifth thing then would be... The fifth thing then would be... Um, what's a fifth area of your life? Relationships, maybe. What vision do you want to carry around your head of the types of relationships you have? Me, personally, I like to have the relationships of people where I have lots of laugh, laughter and, and carefreeness and even a sense of being on their team. I like, I like when I'm on someone's team or they're in my team. Um, so when, when I'm engaging in, in conversations with people, I'm always thinking, like, could this person be on my team? Would I want to be on their team? Um, I just want to have good team members in my life. And I have visions of just me surrounded by very supportive people. People who I admire. People who I look up to. I want to be hanging around professionals, experts in their fields. So these, this is the, these are the sort, sorts of, of things I think about because I have the vision for them. And the, the longer you think about these things, the more you envision these things, the clearer and clearer and clearer they're going to get until one day... They become reality. One, uh, one, day they're, one day they're going to become reality. They have to be. So the vision is going to give, you, give your brain, give your reticular cortex. It's going to activate that reticular cortex and it's going to give it something to actually lock onto. Like a heat-seeking missile. So when you're thinking papaya, 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 because you eat a fruit diet, you're eventually going to find some amazing papaya. Now there are lots of people in Thailand who are surrounded by papaya, but they don't eat much papaya. They eat a bunch of other stuff instead because they're not activating that reticular cortex. Their addictions are activating a different part of the reticular cortex. It's saying burgers, fries, burgers, fries, pizza, pizza, pizza. So get a vision, install it in the forefront of your mind, and um, hold it. Hold the vision. Hold the vision. <sighs> Hope this video was great, guys. I'll see you guys on day three tomorrow for the next step. So, quick review. Day one, you've already decided. Day two today, you now have a vision. Day three tomorrow, look forward to it. Really cool stuff tomorrow. See you guys. Have a happy December 22nd.